we Muslims shave our heads while performing Hajj at Mecca. And Hindus, they also shave at Tirupati. Is there any scientific reason other than religion? The brother has the question that we Muslim when we go for Hajj, and sometimes Umrah also we shave our head. The Hindus, when they go to Tirupati and they go for their pilgrimage, they even shave the head. Is there any scientific reason? That the reason we Muslims shave our head is because if you analyze that a look of a person depends a lot on the hair. Therefore, you have hairstylists, you know, different types of hair, and then you have the pung style and this style. And even the ladies, that's the reason that Islam says that a woman should cover her head, because the beauty also lies in the hair, different hairstyles, etc. Now, when we go for Hajj and we shave off our head, it's for humility. That for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake, we're humbling ourselves. So it is mainly for humility, not that Allah wants our hair. Allah doesn't require even the animal we sacrifice, neither the blood, neither the meat goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's our piety. So we're shaving our head to show that we humble ourselves before our Creator. So that's a sign of humility. That for Allah's sake, we're ready to humble ourselves. That is the reason. Maybe that is a similar reason why the Hindus may be doing it. Maybe. But I mainly in my talk, people ask me, that why didn't I use these examples in my talk, similarities between Hinduism and Islam? And I said, I'm talking about those similarities which are not known by the general public. And certain things may be a coincidence or may be a fact. But that doesn't get them closer to Tawheed. For example, we circumambulate around the Kaaba. The Hindus all circumambulate around the statue. The reason we circumambulate is because it's the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a prophet. The logical reason I can give is because when we circumambulate around the Kaaba, we are testifying there's one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they also have a custom of circumambulating around their idol. So again in the scripture it is mentioned there's one God only. So I mainly have gone to the scriptures, quoting their scriptures about the authenticity, which is more powerful for me rather than quoting these examples, which they'll be satisfied, ah, now we are circumambulating, we are doing right. But what they are doing is wrong. They are circumambulating around an idol. So I purposely leave out these similarities, which may be very striking in front of a normal human being, but may mislead a person. So I give examples of those things that do not do idol worship, as mentioned in the scriptures. That's much more better to get them closer towards Islam, rather than mentioning these things like circumambulation or shaving the head, etc., which is a fact. So why we do, I'm giving the reason. It may have been the same reason there, but because they manipulated it, with an idol, which is not the case in Islam, the moment I give that similarity, it may mislead a person. That is the reason in my talk, which is commonly known by many people, they may not have thought over it, but it's commonly known that when they circumambulate, they're circumambulating around an idol, it should not be same as, you know, that Kaaba is not an idol, and I've given the reply that we don't worship the Kaaba to be an idol, because Kaaba is the Qibla, is the direction. We don't worship the idol. And as I've given my answer, various reasons I've given, including that at the time of the Prophet Muhammad there were Sahabas who stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan. This indicates that we don't worship the Kaaba. No Hindu will stand on the idol he or she worships. So I bring out the differences also, not trying to mislead a person. That's the reason I didn't include this. But the reason we shave our head is for humility, humbling ourselves in front of the Creator. Hope that answers the question.